Let's see. That's what I have. Was. No, I have a brother. My oh. older brother. Oh, I, I have thought two. it was because I said I was. No, because I have an older. My older brothers are Alexander and James. But it is Alec Henderson, with a C. And, and they're not the Alec with a C. That's mostly Alex. So I listen to the Alec with a C because my brother is an Alec with a C. So okay. There are some Alex with a K, I think. There are some with Ks. And then CK. There are a lot of X, just X like Alex. There's a CK, Alec. Okay, well, nice to meet you. There are not as many Alec, but I have a brother with Alex. That's easy to make you So you wanted to tell her a little bit about yourself first, remember? Okay. Oh, a little bit about yourself. So I'm a Boy Scout from Troop 52 in yep. Danbury. Hold on. What, hold on. What did you want to say first? Right. You wanted to tell her a little bit about why your speaking style is the way it is? Oh, oh. I have Asperger's, so okay. I might sound a bit awkward. It does sound awkward to me. Okay. Okay, so the national issue, so as a requirement for my citizenship in the nation's mm -hmm. merit badge, I need to write a letter. I need to write a letter about a national issue, and I need to share my views about the national issue. This is one that you pro there's probably about two hundred so fellow representatives that probably disagree with you. Well, I'm not well, used to well, that. Stick, it's stick. not about agreeing. So you tell me what's the what's the issue you're so the national to So the national issue I chose is abortion. I'm fourteen mm -hmm. years old. Mm -hmm. and I understand the topic is complex and controversial. Mm -hmm. Even in my own home, my parents hold different views on the subject. Mm -hmm. You can guess which one dad is it. Yeah, that'll look at you. We'll probably get it wrong. <laughs> <laughs> I don't make assumptions anymore. I've stopped okay. making assumptions. That's not a good idea to do the same thing. Oh, I thought you think God was pro choice because he wouldn't have to have a kid. Actually, no, you think he's pro life. No, as I told you, I'm not making assumptions. I'm going to listen so, to what you have to say. I understand. So I understand. If I understand quite people correctly, abortion is legal up to the point of fetus liability. I, don't know, I didn't understand what viability meant, but I learned some stuff, and now, and I think it means at the point where a baby could live on its own outside of the womb without medical support. My research indicates that a baby's nervous system is formed at about or exactly 20 weeks pregnant. If viability is around 20 weeks, then I'm okay with abortion up to that time. I would like to know what your position is on abortion and fetal vi viability. Well, that is a really big and important topic that you took on. So, Alec, let us see. First, let me thank you for waiting. She's, uh, she's sh sh her, her hands her out, hands. Alec. Okay. <laughs> and that you were courageous and patient to come with all these adults and everything and to wait to talk. So I'm going to give this back to you. This is a really complicated topic, and you should know it's something that I have very strong feelings about in part because when I was in high school, and I was in high school a long time ago. But I knew girls who got pregnant and didn't ever graduate from high school, never went to college, and I thought it was important for individuals to have a choice about whether to bring a baby into the world or not. I have three children. I've had three miscarriages. What's uh, a miscarriage? Miscarriages mean babies that I tried to have a baby, and the baby, I was unable to keep the baby. Like you, so basically an accidental abortion? Well, like your body just doesn't, you, can, you aren't able to stay pregnant. So I had that happen three times, including a stillbirth. So like close to delivering a baby, right around viability. Maybe. So it's just, I think it's a very, very personal decision to make. And I agree with what the Supreme Court's rule has been, that that should be a decision for a woman to make in consultation with her family and her doctor. One of the challenges, and you kind of touched on it, is we're going to be entering, as technology gets better for medicine, ages of points where that viability to be able to live outside the, outside the womb without is going to be getting younger and younger. Without and you, medical support. Right, but that medical, so those things are going to start to change, and I think that's going to pose real challenges for us. So I think where the rules are now makes sense, but my big goal is to have all babies be wanted and loved and healthy. And so, although there's a lot of fighting around the abortion issue, and I have friends, people who disagree a lot, but I want to see very few circumstances in which that even becomes an issue. And if I'm doing my job right, and other people are too, then make sure.
I'm sure. Nobody's getting pregnant who doesn't want to. That everyone gets good health care so their babies are as healthy and they're as healthy as possible. And so the number of occasions where someone would conclude that that was what they, they needed to do would be very small. So that's part of my effort is to reduce, because it's a painful decision. And I have friends, a number of friends who've had abortions. Most think it was the least bad decision, but some regret it. And I know it's a very hard decision and it has consequences. That's a big topic you took on. Thank you. You're a deep thinker, aren't you? I guess. Can we have the letter back so I can make sure you get some?